Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. I just watched the episode 4. If you want to see my reaction video about that, I'm gonna put the link into the eye. Like I'm putting a lot of links about the last episodes that I watched, of course, of Shadow and Bone, but also of the other shows that I'm reacting to. I was a lot excited, you know, before the episode 4. I was so glad to be back with the show, with this universe, even more to discover what is gonna happen next, you know, what they prepared for me next, I have the impression that with this first episode, but also with this season one, in fact, I have the impression that we're gonna just begin the adventure, you know, that it's gonna go deeper with the story, with the characters. I don't know how to, to compare that. You know, almost like in Harry Potter, when you are beginning to read the books, there are just kids who are leaving some adventures into their school. And little by little, it's going deeper, and we are learning more about the villain, and we are learning more about how difficult it's gonna be to win against him. But we have to do that and that before. In shows, movies, books, stories like that, where at the beginning, you just think that this character, they have to do that, these characters, they have to do that, but it's gonna get deeper, it's gonna go further than that. I think that this season one, the situation with this season one, like for now, Alina, she has to do her training and cast group, they have to capture Alina. I have the impression that these two situations are going to be resolved into the first season and at the end of the first season, we're going to discover that in fact, it's more complicated than that for Alina, for sure, because of what she has to do with the fault, but also for the group, I mean, into this group we have Inej, who is a believer. Maybe when she's gonna see that Alina is truly the Sun Summoner, she's gonna switch. Something else is gonna happen. And I mean, there is a fault to resolve, but what about the creatures? When the fault is gonna disappear, the creatures, are they gonna disappear or not? And still, there is a war. I have the impression that yes, it can go deeper. Or maybe it's because of the fact that for now, the villain, of the show, it's the fold. And the fold, it's something, you know, it's something and I don't know. Are we gonna discover a villain? Are we gonna discover something else? Is it related to the general Kerrigan? And it could explain why I have this feeling, this gut feeling about the fact that we don't know everything about him, even if he said a lot during the last episode about him, about the fact that, that he's related to the Grisha who created the fault, the heretic. He seems honest and I believe in everything that he said, but I don't know how and why, but I have this thing inside of me telling me, mm, be careful. I don't know why, but be careful, not be afraid, not He's gonna do something bad to Alina. I really think that he's putting a lot of hope into her about the fact that they can save them and it's gonna help him also. I really think that he has feelings for her or at least there is that sexual tension between them. Really, we can all see that. So I believe in him for that, for how he is with her and for what he said to her. I'm sure that he said the truth. There, I trust what he said and how he is, but I don't trust him for the future. Again, maybe it's because of the mysterious card, maybe he's hiding something, maybe... I don't know. I have this gut feeling that I can't explain. I don't think that he's gonna become the villain, I don't think that they're gonna create a parallel with, you know, his parents, 
who was bad, I don't think that is gonna do the same or something like that. I don't think so, but still, I don't feel it. And no, it's not because of the fact that I ship Mali... Mm? I was gonna say Mal with Alina. Malina, it's the name of the ship. <laughs> okay, no, it's not because of the fact that I ship them, because yes, I ship them, I cannot lie about it. Each time that they have a sweet scene, I'm smiling like that, so I cannot lie to you or to myself, I ship them. I find them cute, sweet, but also their bond is so strong. They lived so many stuff together and... How I reacted at the end of the last episode is proving me that I want them together and I didn't like at all what Alina did, the fact that she wants to erase that scar that she made because she wanted to stay with him, like he did that scar because of the fact that he wanted to stay with her, you know, into that jail moment, memory, and the fact that at the end of the episode 3 she's writing to him, you're my true nurse, at the end of the episode 4 is writing to her, you are my true nurse, so you're thinking the same, but her, in one episode, she switched her mind and she's focusing on the memories on which he and she, they considered themselves as just friends, like she's losing up about seeing him again, about I don't know. Is it because of the fact that she was failing, you know, at this training with her powers and she wanted to be focused only on that? Is it because of the fact that she had this moment with Kirigan, she felt things, you know, for him because of that she's gonna feel less guilty if she's going with Kirigan? Maybe these two things, maybe just one, but no matter what, for me it's wrong. <laughs> you know how much I value loyalty and loyal friends so of course i have bad opinion about disloyal friends so i didn't approve what she did but i'm giving her the benefits of the doubt she has all of the reasons to be lost right now i'm still shipping them you know i'm still shipping mal with Alina, even more because of what he did during all of the episode you know doing all of that to find that deal to be reunited with her he lost two friends because of that and I had my first tears into this show for them because of the fact that they were nice, fun and loyal. I said it, I value really a lot this quality. That's one of my favorite ones in my life <laughs> but also in shows and movies. I love loyalty a lot. So I was really sad that they died for them, for these two characters who could have been interesting to continue to have on screen, but also for Mal, what it meant for him. He lost Alina, she went away, and right there he lost these two friends. He had no one now. I'm afraid of him going to Little Palace and finding Alina really changed and seeing that she erased that scar. It's gonna break his heart, it's gonna break mine. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> we'll see. And we'll see also what is gonna happen with Kazineige and Jesper, my favorite characters into this show so far. I really love them. Jesper and Inage, they gonna enter during the party because they have talents, you know, with this group of people. Kaz, we still don't know how he's gonna do it. I'm sure that he's gonna succeed because he's clever and is determined so we can be sure that he's gonna succeed but how he's gonna do it I don't know I want to see that oh also something that maybe I forgot to say in videos but that I said in comments I love a lot the music of this show I said it since episode one but I have my favorite also music for this show it's Kaz music sim he has such a recognizable music sim and such a good one also it's really fitting with his mood with his attitude and all i really love his music scene and all of the music of this show i want all of them they are so 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 good okay i'm gonna stop this intro right now and let's go for this episode five <laughs> if you want i have a patreon you can find the link on the description on which you can have 
the episode with extended reaction part and also sooner during the day and for those who don't know it the extended reaction part it's how I edited the video the first time you know I'm editing it a first time and then I'm forced to cut into it again for the fair use rules of YouTube I'm trying to upload the videos on YouTube that are always blocked so I have to cut them again and again until they are approved by YouTube so really the extended reaction part it's what I wanted you guys to see the first time all of my reactions, all of my interesting reactions really and it's helping me to be less frustrated with <laughs> the, the versions that I'm posting on YouTube just know that for the first episode for example I had to do for the part one I think that it was four different versions of the video and for the part two I think that it was six versions. The first one was already respecting the fair use rules of YouTube but it was not enough I had to cut even more into the same scene you know and that's why it's so cut sometimes during some scenes even if that important scenes. So yes really the Patreon version is good for you because you have all of the reactions that I wanted you guys to see and it's good for me because it's a way to support me but also because I'm less frustrated about the versions that I'm posting on YouTube which are cut, 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 cut and cut again but not because I want, because I have to that's an information even if you're not going on my Patreon now you know all of the work that it's taking you know, to upload these reaction videos even when you are respecting the fair use rules it's not enough. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Let's go for this episode five. Mm, it's not fire, it's light and it's an animal, no? All of these opening credits are interesting and could be even more if I read the books. Which is not the case. I don't think that I said it during the intro. Remember, I did not read the books. <laughs> Girls. Did you really send the letters? Genia? They are not gonna give up on the powers that you're giving to this song. I know the general insisted on that performance. But perhaps after the chapter blue. I think I'm gonna stick with the black. That's symbolic. She's saying the same that I'm saying about the general. This is David Costick, expert resident fabricator. He created the blue light we use for crossing the fault. I know you. Skins. <laughs> Ingenious. Mm -hmm. See you at the fate. Oh, you're not answering? <laughs> She's nice. I really hope that you tried to contact Mal and I think that you and I we have the same gut feeling the general hiding something. This would be where they feel she's most protected. Do you understand it? His musical sim. It is right there, but it's really lighter because he's trying to hide himself. See? You have to be a Grisha. I was gonna say it, it's the horse. You think that's what it is? Just a trick? I think. Those arms we get paid. I don't care if she's real or not. I said it. She believed. That can be an issue at some point. For the group, you know, when she's gonna see that she's truly no. the Santa Come on, it's like butterweed. Let's go back. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Alina Starkov. Is it gonna be a good performance, you know, for you? Are they not gonna mock you? Should I tell them? Alina, no. Only one knows what you're doing. If we get caught in Well, 
Mm-hmm. You know she is now. And you're gonna take the honor? To hit you mean? Oh my dear, I hope that you're not gonna be disappointed by... What is gonna happen? Zzz, I'm afraid. She's caught shoe. When exactly did you see her? You didn't know that? Of course they didn't know that. Some sort of green Sherlock. Took a material link to it. I know now what the material link is. Thank you, Nico. You don't want to keep it in your pocket for. <laughs> it's like Mary Poppins, you know, he has everything right. into his bag. Mark grabs the target. The rest of us will be setting up a link splash. Jasper, make sure there's a fast way that you have true feelings for her, I believe in what you said, why do I not trust you? Boundaries, guys! One day you're not gonna be able to escape, you know, from a sexual tension situation. I've realized what this demonstration represents. I've always felt like an outsider. I finally feel like I belong. That's why you wanted to erase your bond with Mal? We can offer Grisha and Ravkins hope for the future. It means that you succeeded. You're going for it? Oui! That's good for your character, you know that it's you who is going for it. I'm not shipping them, so I'm not fully appreciating the situation, but I'm okay with it. Again, for the story, for their characters, me, it's logical and good. Many of us just requested his horses. Do you like it there? Some fun. The more I learn that where you are doesn't matter nearly as much as who you're with. And when there's something you want, ready to act, it's without thinking and think without acting. Jesper! Stay focused. <laughs> Just fair. Music is good. And it's going so well with the scene, how it's filmed, you know, the camera moving. <laughs> Turning a blind eye to the true scale. Tonight's light show is a success. We may need to re examine our commitments with him. Ah. I love, you know, that kind of political issues also into a story. It's way more realistic. What's the best You have to ask. Do you mind what happened last time we did this? What's the music? You're in love. <laughs> She's wearing dark to be like you. Mm -hmm. You know that she is the girl. Her name is Alina Stockholm. And she will bring liberation to us all. You're looking yes. Your turn. Time to shine. <laughs> Come on. Inej, she needs to see that. Well then. Oh, that's it. You think that you are saint? Needed to see that. She believes in you. Just fail, come on. I understand. Oh, are you going to see each other again? I mean, I hope so.
What about left? That order? Alright, so the stag is a myth. No. If a saint is in your palace right now and you stop that myth. Your funeral. Leave your weapons here. What about that, your funeral and the fact that the general order to close the... The last time that this happened into a show, it was a certain red wedding. I must say, it's not coming in. You are becoming quite dangerous. You have no idea how much larger a role you have to play here. I'm not sure that it's bad. Something strong enough to topple the king, to crumble nations. I'm not afraid of him. He doesn't know how to tell what he needs to tell, but what he's saying is interesting and important each time.